Welcome back to the county seat. Our next topic is talking about municipal services. You know, if you live in Salt Lake County, the city's the one that takes care of your water. They're also the one that picks up your garbage. Well, if you live in Kanab, garbage is handled by the county. Water comes from a special taxing district. So it gets a little confusing. Who's in charge of the SWAT team? Who handles dog catching? Well, these are all services that compete between counties and cities. And as cities grow up, they tend to take more responsibility for handling their own services. But it happens anywhere from police to fire to basically functions like the clerk's office. So when should a city take over? Well, that's the topic of a potential bill in the legislature to help define it. Some people say, thank heavens, it's about time. Others say, are we defining it too much? Here's a report on that topic. We normally don't worry about who picks up our garbage, just as long as it gets picked up. Same thing with police and fire services. As long as our tax dollars pay for those protections, we don't worry about whether it's a county police department or from the city. But what about when those services overlap and we end up paying for two police departments or two garbage services when one would do? Well, that's a question Utah cities and counties are trying to answer. A lot of it's, frankly, how it's evolved through the years. You drive through West Valley City and there's a county park and there's a city park and there's another county park and another city park. Or you'll see a county rec center like the Redwood Rec Center or a city rec center like the Family Fitness Center. So sometimes it does get kind of blurry. Right now there's a survey going uh, through the Salt Lake Valley Conference of Mayors in partnership with Peter Kroon's office there in the Salt Lake County Mayor's office to look at where our government partnerships happening and to help us identify some of those efficiencies and, and share some best practices. Currently, there is no law that identifies exactly what services counties are responsible for and what individual cities need to cover. All counties in Utah provide jail and health services. But from there, things can get confusing. Smaller cities tend to rely more on county services and can always contract with the county for police and fire protection. When a city grows, they will tend to take over those services. But there are no clear rules as to what a city should provide and which services they will leave to the county. Nowadays, when a city incorporates, they have a lot more options where they can continue to contract with the unified police department so they still have some of the services they enjoyed when they were in the unincorporated areas of the county or the unified fire authority uh, to have fire services or we even see cities partner with other cities for services. To help differentiate city and county responsibility, the Utah Association of Counties has submitted a bill to be considered at the 2012 session of the legislature that would do just that. I think it's great that we're looking at maybe sorting out some of that uh, ambiguity and clarifying what is a municipal service and what's really more of a county or regional sort of service. Um, I think that's a healthy process, but certainly not an easy one as given by some of these examples. When counties are engaged in municipal services, it creates um, an interesting relationship with the cities in that county and not necessarily a healthy one, frankly, because on the one hand, the county is the regional government to the city, but on the other hand, if it's providing municipal services, it also is a, a peer and competitor in a ways. And so it is actually healthier to have a cleaner demarcation between those roles. And I think what uh, the you know, Utah Association of Counties, UAC, and the Utah League of Cities and Towns, or ULCT, are, are looking at is a good step in that effort. You and I may not worry much about who exactly is picking up trash or patrolling our streets, but in the complicated world of overlapping government entities, it's always good to find a little clarity. For the county seat, I'm Terry Wood. We will flush out that report with a conversation about municipal versus county services. Should they be joined together? Should they be defined by a law? Uh, when do cities grow into a position? These are all topics, fertile ground for conversation. We have a great panel here to discuss that. We'll be back with the county seat in just a second. How would you spend an extra day in Utah Valley? Stay one more day. Visit utahvalley.com to make reservations. Utah Valley, bring everyone together. 
What brings you to St. George? Business meeting. Staying long? Just here for the day. Quick in and out. Hey, I just landed. Can we meet in half an hour? Oh, too bad. Why so fast? Stay any longer? We'll run out of things to do. On second thought... <sighs> Buddy, something's come up. I'm gonna need another hour. Can we push the meeting till noon? I am definitely gonna need to reschedule. This is new. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your 45 minute flight to Salt Lake. How'd that meeting go? I should have booked a weekend. In order for there to be adventure, there must first be a land that offers it. In order for there to be discovery, there must first be something undiscovered. It's time you discovered Northeastern Utah's dinosaur lands, the trails, water, beauty, and history that have been 65 million years in the making. Take your journey to a destination where adventure is only limited by your imagination. Join us in Uinta County, Undiscovered Utah.